on the path. And remember, hey, we're just close. We're just close. You know? Why give all that up when we're just close? It doesn't matter what happens in your life. Yeah, it hurts. You know? It, it hurts. But we need to quit blaming God for everything. That's the problem. We always want to say, God, why? God, why? You know, that's just like me. If I go out here in, in my car, the, the fact that I got, and I go down this four lane, 180 miles an hour, and I hit a tree or a rock with, and I get ejected out of that car, my head's cut off and I die. Why, God? Why? You see the difference? Quit asking why and start not doing things that will cause it to happen. That's what we need to do. If I went down here driving like an idiot, if I went down here running up down the road like that, then it would have never happened in the first place. So then why would I even ask God in the first place? It's my fault that it happened. And in all the times of things that we go through in our lives, it's our fault that it happened. But yet we want to do what everybody else does and what's the easiest thing to do? What did somebody ask for? Step up and take your own responsibility and ask what you do. That's what we need to do. Not just as a society, not just as a church, but as Christians. That's what we need to do. Now let's get back to Moses. He's leading the people, the children out of Egypt. They can look around, see nothing but desert. They're tired. They're hungry. They ain't been to this walk. They ain't had a good meal in months or years. They're, they, they ain't getting nothing but this stuff called man. And as they're struggling alone, as they're searching for the promised land, as they're hunting for what God has promised them, the same thing as we are doing every day. We hunt for what God promised us, and that's eternal life. So instead of us looking around and saying, God, it didn't happen, or instead of us looking around, I want this and I want that, be happy for what you have. It could be worse. You know, it could be worse. So many times I see everybody do who to crime. It don't work for everybody. But I thought to myself, before I come, before I come to uh, God, I was just living pretty good. Uh, not that I've seen free, there's a lot of seen them, but I mean, I was looking good. I looked around one day. By that time, Sandy had already joined church. Eula, like I said before, I didn't make her too mad. She ran home and I got saved up here. But I look around and I think to myself, here I am a sinner. I'm not a sinner. You know, I'm not trying to do what's right. I'm not trying to live for God. I am a sinner. At one time, I had no job, no home. My marriage was over. I was going through a divorce. At one time, all this stuff was happening to me. Now, I turned it around. I had a good job. My kids, I had the best relationship that I've had with my kids, my grandkids. And I think to myself, what else can God give me that he hasn't already gave me. You know, I could have turned around and said, Lord, I'll tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. I'm going to take this $2 and buy me a lottery ticket. When I win that $300 million, I just quit my work, and guess what? I'll serve you all the time. It doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen like that. You know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, a lot of times it takes things in our lives to get us down to the lowest point to look up to see what we got. But not everybody. I'm one of those that's not in. When I, if I'm down and I'm in my low point, I ain't got no place to go with it. I want to do that once I get up, I don't want to go back down. That's the person that I want. And you know, once you get to where you're at, and it's, you don't want to lose it. You don't want, to, you don't want to, things to go bad or go wrong. Just like Joe. Joe didn't want none of that stuff to happen. But yet he did. And that's what I'm telling you today as Christians. We cannot control what happens. People are going to kill people. Disease is going to be out there. We can't control what happens. The only thing we can do is pray and trust in God that if it does happen to us, we got better things to look forward to. We don't have to put in our lives down here what we're going to build. We need to be building it up there. And I'm going to get back to that too. Moses, the people 
people was looking around, the tent was setting in, and they started to become angry with Moses, and they were angry with God. And then back in the back, where the Malta, what do they call it? Malta, 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 mixed people, Malta, Malta, mixed nations. Malta called. Malta called them. Yeah. In other words, when, when Moses let them out, he didn't just take each of them and go, I mean, they Egyptians, they were sinners, and, I mean, whoever wanted to go, pretty much went. Well, back in the back of the cave, they started remembering how they had it in Egypt. You know, they started remembering, oh, God only gives us manna to eat. We don't have water to drink. But back in Egypt, we had all these fish. We had these melons. We had the onions. We had the garlic. We had the leeks, which is like an onion, I guess. And they started looking back. You know, that wasn't the time to look back. That was the time to look forward. In your life, as Christians, as we walk and as we talk and as we draw closer to God, it ain't time for us to look back at what we had when we was out in the world. It's time to look forward. And what they should have been looking forward to is eternity. Eternity. He promised in this land forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. But they, just like us, is. You know, you stood 10 minutes to take popcorn out. A minute and a half you got popcorn. Everything in life is instant. Let me tell you, there is no instant salvation. There is no instant way to heaven. This is something that you have to work at. This is something that you have to struggle through. And this is something that you've got to be led through. You know? And I keep thinking... <sighs> Anyways, it's up. Uh, and the people started complaining. People started complaining, just like I was talking about Brother Eugene earlier. Uh, people started complaining, I can take him and destroy him. And him being pastor of this church, there are people, if you tell them you come to this church, they won't even talk to you. And they will. There's people like that. You know why? Because of us. You know, everybody wants to blame everybody else. Hey, they say we're like this at Nolan. They say that. Why are you telling people what it's like at no one? You say, well, I ain't saying nothing. You don't have to say nothing. What are your actions saying? That's where it counts at. You know? That's, that's where it counts at. You don't have to say nothing. It's your actions speaks loud than your words. You ain't talking about how they did all that. If you will, turn to Numbers 11 and 11. I'm trying to hurry. Numbers uh, 11 and 11. Let's start at 10. Then Moses heard the people weep throughout their families. Every man in the door of his tent, and the anger of the Lord was kindled. They can't, or kindled greatly. Moses also was completely displeased. And Moses said unto the Lord, Wherefore hast thou afflicted thy servant? And wherefore have I not found favor in thy sight? that thou layest the burden of all these people upon me. Thou layest the burden of all these people upon me. He's my God. Let me tell you, things that people or other people see as curses, we as Christians, we can see as blessings. You say, what are you saying? I'm telling you, if you lose your job, if you lose your marriage, if you lose your home, it doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters. All that stuff, it doesn't matter. It's only here for temporary season. What matters is when you die, and they put your body in the ground, and you open your eyes where you want to be. That's what matters. In other words, don't let something that happens around you cause you to mess out on something you're looking for. And that's what the people in Egypt, I mean, the people, the Israelites started letting do them. Everybody else started talking about how good it was. Then they started missing. And then next thing you know, this little patch turns into this patch. And then it turns into this patch. And next thing you know, everybody's harder. It's like that today in church. It's how it is today in church. All right. It says, Have I conceived all these people? Have I forgotten them? That thou shouldest say unto me, Carry them in thy bosom as a nursing father, bear the suckling child unto the land which thou swearest unto their fathers. 
I'd say, judging from what that says and what Moses is at his wits end. Just like Job is at his wits end. They made decisions that they lived with. What decisions are you going to make when you're at your wits end? We can't be accountable for Moses or Job, but we are accountable for us. That's what we need to think about. When this comes to at me, what am I going to do? You know, when this comes at me, what am I going to do? Let me tell you what. I get so angry and aggravated at people. When something traumatic happens in their life. You know, like I said before, I know where God is. He's in jailhouse, because everybody finds him out. The problem is, nobody takes him out. He's still there. But when they get out, they leave him in there. You know, it's a shame that people have to get like that. Why wait until you live like that and get in that situation when it was your decisions to make to begin with? In other words, if you nip it at the bud, don't worry about the, what's going to come along because it's never going to happen. You know, I'm just trying to give you something to think about, something to wonder about in your mind, because all of you can sit there in your life and relate to some of the stuff that I'm saying. I'm just wanting to push a button or two. Not in a bad way, just, you know. <laughs> Which should I, which should I have flesh to give unto the, all these people? For they weep upon me, saying, "Give us flesh that we may eat." God was already supplying their needs. God supplying your needs. God supplying your needs. I don't see not one of us in here. Not one of us seems like we missed a meal. I know I don't. I gotta go to the fat doctor because I ate too much. I know none of us missing a meal. But let me tell you this. No, it's just, you never, it's like we're never satisfied. It, it's like we're never satisfied. It's time that we be content with what this world has and be done with it because it doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters. We're supposed to be building for up there, not down here anyways. It says, uh, I'm not able to bear this people alone because it is too heavy for me. And if thou... I'm going to skip 15. I'm going to come back again. I want to uh, now jump over to 16 and 20. So here you are. These people crying, remembering the fish they had on. That angers God. Just like you. God, I got a 2008 truck. If you give me a 2012 truck, I can serve you a lot better. True? Not true. People do this. And they'll think they don't because they do. You know, it's time that we be happy that we got the 2008 and it's not 1997. That's the difference. We need to start looking at what we got and be proud that we got it and bless what God has blessed us instead of worrying about what we don't have. If you quit worrying about what you don't have, you'll take care of the stuff that you do have. Amen. That's the difference. You know, I'm going to jump on to my stepson. He ain't here to defend himself, and I'm sure he's going to watch this video. Uh, That boy, <laughs> he's had two trucks. A motor, he's got Harley Davidson, 18 years old, got Harley Davidson. I ain't never had Harley Davidson. <laughs> he, he, he's wrecked, I'm going to kill himself. Off in up, start up, seeing where he couldn't move and talk about how grateful he was. How grateful he was that God, did, that God spared his life. He was blessed that God spared his life. Now, I don't care what he says, and I don't care what he's saying or don't say. He's out here drinking. He's out here running the road. You know why? Because he healed up a little bit. Us as people, when things happen in our lives, we want to cry, oh God, oh God, oh God. But as soon as we heal up, we want to go right back to where we was at. It's time that we stop doing that. And once you get in it, press forward and keep going from where we're at. Instead of going back and forth, back and forth. That's what makes us weak. Every time you look back on something that you shouldn't be looking on, we get weak. You know why? Every time you look back, they look back. Something happened to them. These people, the fire came down. Thoughts wiped, turned into a pillar of salt. Just examples. Every time that you look back on where you came from, or you look forward, or boo-hoo, and cry, or complain about what you don't have, let me tell you, what you got right now is a lot better than what you could lose. That's what we got to keep in our minds. You know, it's easy to lose something. It's hard to hold on to something. 
Salvation's the same way. You know, it's easy for us to make excuses. It's easy to, for us to put us in hell. But we can't put us in heaven. No excuses, no nothing will get us to heaven. That's what we need to think about. Now, these people crying to do who and complain, trying to hurt. So God said, guess what? Y'all want it? You're going to get it. Go to 16, verse 16. And say it down unto the people, sanctify yourself against tomorrow, and you shall eat flesh. For ye have wept, wept in the ears of the Lord, saying, Who shall give us flesh to eat? And it was well with us in Egypt. In other words, we had all the stuff we wanted to eat in Egypt. And you drank us out there into this. Therefore, the Lord will give you flesh to eat. He's going to give them what they want. You should not eat it one day, nor two days, nor five days, neither ten days, nor twenty days. It says, but even the whole month. And not only that, it says, until it comes out of your nostrils. And it be also unto you, because that ye had despised the Lord which is among you, and had wept before him, saying, Why can we forth out of Egypt? Now, God give them what we want. Let me tell you what, you need to be careful with what you ask for. Because God's liable to give you what you want to. He's liable to give it to you. But what's the price? What's the price? When you ask God for something and you want something, you better be willing to pay the price. Because it's not free. Regardless of what this generation or any other generation tells you, it's not free. There's always a price. You don't talk about Moses, we talk about Job. I want you to go back. <clears throat> I want you to go back to uh, Numbers 11 and 15. What I got, Paul? I got 45 40 minutes. 45. I'm going to try and finish. I'm going to get going. I don't think I'm going to have nothing to do with it. Uh, let's go back to uh, Numbers 11 and 15. Now, how many times have we done this? And if thou kill thus, with me, kill me, I pray thee. Out of hand, if I have found favor in thy sight, let me not see my preachings. Hold that thought and go back to uh, Job uh, 14, chapter, starting on the 13th verse. Job 14, verse 13. It says, Oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou wouldest keep with me. Secret until thou wrath be passed, that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. If a man shall, uh, if a man die, he shall live again. All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. These people were at their wits' end. Both of them were to die. Both of them had to die. And the reason they wanted to die, they couldn't take it. They wanted to give up. Then I start thinking to myself, that happens today. Matters that me. happens today. Don't never say you'll never do that. Because you don't know what you'll do when you face a certain circumstance. I find that out of course. You don't know what, what would happen or what you would do. So what these two asked the Lord to take them out. We shouldn't as Christians ask to leave this way. We're saying, bro, what are you talking about? Let me tell you what 